we can think of the sine ratio as a function. What we plug into this function, it's an angle. And after the angle has been plugged in, we obtain a ratio on the sides of the right triangle. In the form of opposite divided by hypotenuse. So let's visualize this idea. If we have an angle and we plug in this angle into the function of sine, which we're just going to write as SIN, the outcome that we get out of it, it is the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse. Let's visualize this idea in the triangle on the left. Let's start by choosing a reference angle. Let's use C. Now let's label our triangle using this reference angle. What is opposite of 90 degrees? That's the hypotenuse. What is in front of a reference angle? That is the opposite side. And the side that is right next to our angle, that's the adjacent. If we get our function of sine and we plug in angle C, the outcome is going to be the ratio between the opposite and the adjacent. In this triangle, our opposite is AB. And in our triangle, the hypotenuse is AC. So we have evaluated our sine function. Now let's find the sine of angle A. Let's label our triangle. Opposite of 90 degrees, that's the hypotenuse. Opposite of our reference angle, that's the opposite side. And what is left is the adjacent. So if we look at our function of sine, and now we evaluate it using angle A, we're going to get the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And in this case, our opposite is BC, and our hypotenuse is AC. Let's take a look at some examples. So given the triangles at the bottom, we want to evaluate the sine ratio. In the example on the left, we want to evaluate sine of A. So the angle that we have inside our parentheses, we can define this as our reference angle. Let's identify that in our triangle that will be right here. So now that we have identified our reference angle, let's label our triangle. Opposite of 90 degrees, hypotenuse. Opposite of our reference angle, that's the opposite. And what is left is the adjacent. So now we have all the information that is needed because sine, if we evaluate it with angle A, that is going to be equal to the opposite, which in this case is 28, divided by the hypotenuse, which in this case is 35. In the example on the right, there's a typo. Let's actually change this to sine of C. Now let's make our reference angle, angle C. Let's identify that in our triangle that will be located right here. Now let's label our triangle opposite of 90 degrees, that's the hypotenuse. Opposite of our reference angle, that's the opposite side. And the side that is left is our adjacent. If we get our function of sine and we evaluate it with angle C, the outcome is opposite, which we know is 24, divided by the hypotenuse, which in this case is 40. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.